All right, hey everyone. Today we are going to be doing a tear down on our 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate metal case Bluetooth enabled battery. So this is a lot like our um, ABS plastic battery, except obviously in a metal case. Um, I did a complete tear down video on that battery as well, link to it above. And um, yeah, so now when we tore it down, we showed all the internals. I wanted to do kind of a similar one where we talk about the uh, external characteristics and then we'll actually bust it open and get inside. So jumping right into it, um, obviously metal case, it's steel case. It's got a black powder coat matte finish on it. Feels really nice. It's got like an industrial feel to it. Uh, you pick it up and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's got a really satisfying feel to it. It's slightly more compact than the ABS case. It's 11 across. It's seven deep and it's nine tall. So those are your dimensions. Um, on the back here, we've got uh, screw uh, thumb terminals or thumb screws on here. Um, they come with washers. I dropped it back here earlier, but it comes with a washer that goes on top. Um, you got about eight to 10 millimeters on the terminals for actually putting your, your uh, lugs on there. And then just screw down tight and there you go. So you got a positive negative. Then you got Bluetooth on off switch in the middle here. So the Bluetooth, on, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that inside, but the switch up here is just for one security. So nobody can, nobody else can just log into your Bluetooth trying to use the default passwords and stuff. And it also saves on power. So it, it, the Bluetooth only sips power in the first place, but this eliminates any kind of, uh, you know, residual draw on the boot, on the Bluetooth. Uh, it comes, it'll come delivered to you in a double wall corrugated cardboard box with one and a half inch thick foam all the way around it. And yeah, it's got all the proper UN markings and of course all the hazardous material markings and stickers and, and we ship properly through UPS ground. So with that, let's go ahead and crack it open. Um, tactic for this is going to be there's two screws in the front, two in the back and one on each side that hold the top on. When it comes delivered uh, to the end consumer, it will have warranty void if removed stickers on the sides. As long as one of those are intact, the uh, warranty will be good. So the big benefits of these batteries are that someday once the warranty is up, if you wanted to upgrade the BMS or replace cells or whatever, you would be able to do that with these metal case batteries. Um, so that's being, that's the big advantage. One other thing I wanted to note before we crack it open is the powder coating is non-conductive. So if you take a, a voltmeter and you put it on there and test the ohms, you, you're going to get a zero reading. I've, done, I've tried it all over it and verified the powder coating is thick enough that you can't get any kind of ohm uh, resistance reading through the batteries. So anyway, that's enough of that. Let's crack this open. Okay, so now we get to open it up. All right, so inside here you can see uh, we got upgraded silicone wire here. This red wire is a six AWG wire. So in our, in our plastic one, we had eight AWG. We're going with six AWG from now on or 28 AWG depending on what the manufacturer decides. I left it up to them, but for these they chose 6 AWG and then on the negative side you got two 10 AWGs which is more than sufficient to carry it. The red, the 6 AWG is rated to 280 to 380 amps so that is very very good for this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tilt this up so that this camera can see it a little better. Alright, so again you got your negative terminal over here, you got negative terminal over here. This goes directly to the battery terminal and then the BMS is kind of the, the break in between that negative wire. So if the BMS decides to shut off, it basically just kills the negative side of the, of the equation here. And that's how it kind of, and that's also how it measures all the flow of electricity through it, the column meter and all that stuff inside of it. But um, you can see the basics here. The studs on the bottom are coated with the uh, with silicone caulking. That's to keep the nuts and stuff from backing off. You also got silicone caulking holding all of the connections together in here. Uh, the temperature wire, the the balance leads, and also the Bluetooth cabling. So everything is very secure. Nothing's going to come loose or break loose, you know, in shipping or uh, whenever it's in your rig or your boat or, or wherever you decide to put one of these. Vibrations and stuff, you don't have to worry about that coming loose. I've seen other videos where people, they tear down the batteries and they find out like it was the, the balance leads came loose and so that kills the whole battery. I don't have that problem with this. Um, so, yeah. All right, so in uh, full transparency, I've already done this once today. This is actually my second run on tearing down a battery. The first one, the camera was completely out of focus and I was like, there's no way I can use the video. So uh, I've gone ahead, I've opened up a new one, but I'm gonna bring the other one over that I've already torn down and we're gonna kind of walk through that again. 
I just wanted to show you kind of a virgin opening. Uh, it's all completely put together like this from the factory. And now I'll get the other one, which I've already kind of tore up a little bit. What I'm going to do here is take the stud off and then electrical tape around it to keep it from possibly shorting out anything. This is just a safety thing. Oh, one other thing I'm going to one other thing I'm going to throw my glasses on because you should be wearing glasses when doing stuff like this. Uh, anytime these things touch or could possibly arc, you run the risk of hot molten in your eyeballs. So safety first. In case you're wondering why I did this one off of this end and the other one I had to screw off this way, this had so much stuff on it there was no way I was going to get it, uh, I was going to get that bolt off. So, Alright, next I'm going to take off the negatives and then, and then we'll actually be able to peel it up. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the balance leads. So that's done. And then what we have here are the negative, the, go, the negatives that go straight to the batteries. So we're also going to put some tape on these so there's no chance of shorting it out once this starts coming out. Things kind of start flopping around when you're, when you're shoving and jostling it. So it just makes sense to be careful and tape these up. Well, we don't need, we actually don't even need to take these out. We can pull the board off now. So go ahead and pull the board off. It was a lot harder when I did it earlier. Um, and we got the temperature probe in there as well. So this basically got ripped off when I, when I took it off. There was two strips of extremely adhesive sticky tape on the back, which you can also see here. Um, but this is the bare board on the back side. I didn't damage it. It still works. I actually already tested it when I put it back together. Um, again, you can see the heat sinks on the front. And this is a beefier one than the old one. So this is the old one. This is the SP04S020. This is the 028 upgraded version. So this one you could only be parallel with. Um, this one they've added more, more uh, circuitry to it to make it capable of uh, doing serious connections. So uh, that's what this one gives you an upgrade. This is the only one we're going to use from now on. Any battery you order from this, this point forward comes with this BMS um, or better. So, and that's for our, our uh, 50 amp and up are going to come with these. All right, let's see, what do we got now? Oh, uh, and again, it does have low temperature protect, high temperature protect. This is the uh, external one. It goes down in the wires and is on the battery. And then there's also an internal um, uh, temperature probe on the BMS itself. And you can see those in the, in the Bluetooth software. I did a whole other video on the Bluetooth software, and I'll link to that video um, up above. But the Bluetooth, you can get all kinds of information from that. You, your readings, your details, your historical information. Uh, what each individual cell, cell out of the four cells is reading voltage wise. Um, you can tell how many amps are coming out, which is, you know, watts. Uh, all that kind of information is available at your fingertips with the Bluetooth that. Did test the Bluetooth even through the metal case. You get about a 10 to 15 foot range, which is decreased compared to the plastic, which will reach, you know, 40, 50 feet. Um, so there is some distance lost, but it's not much. If you're standing within six feet of it, you're going to have a solid connection to it and have no trouble updating parameters and seeing what's going on with the battery. Okay, so the only thing left to do is going to be to actually get the cells out of here. And this box is actually um, is actually secured to the bottom of the case very securely. There's two big strips of this adhesive and it's almost impossible to pull out without like saws on through the foam padding on the side or something like that. So what we're going to do is what I've already done actually is uh, I've sliced down the edges here to, to basically flip this back and then we'll be able to um, pull the cells out with all this wiring. Again, uh, I've already done this once today, so now I'm just taking the duct tape I put in there. to. So I should be able to get it now. Yep. Get that last piece of duct tape off. And there you go. Those are the inside cells. 
Now all we gotta do now, we got our leads are protected here. So this is where it can get where like you can you can bump them and stuff. So this is where you want to have them protected. Alright. So there we go. Inside of the box, I'm not gonna rip that out because I just don't want to destroy the inside right there. But um, that's basically the inside. I think you get a pretty good visual on that. If not from there, from the top side, you can see those two heavy strips on the inside, and that's what I don't want to try to rip out because it'll just be a giant mess. All right, so you can see um, basically the wires and the cells. You see the bus bars, our balance leads are actually um, screwed into the bus bars. You've got the positive balance lead, and then you've got the number one, the number two, the number three, and then the negative. So that is, uh, that's it in a nutshell. These bus bars are pretty hefty, easily 200 amp bus bars. And yeah, you can kind of see the quality there. These are 100 amp hour prismatic cells. They're grade A cells, they'll deliver everything. We'll do a uh, capacity test on these coming up shortly, probably tomorrow. And uh, we'll actually put these on some inverters and see what we can get. I actually got a new inverter I want to test out tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check all this stuff out, pretty cool. So hey guys, that's all I got. These are, these are obviously they're available for purchase on our website and I will drop the link below so you can go buy them if you want. Also available on Amazon. Um, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you're not already because we'll be doing some capacity tests tomorrow, high and low capacity tests with some new uh, equipment I got. I got a new 24 volt inverter I want to test out tomorrow and I'll probably put it on the 12 volt inverter though so we can do an individual um, test on the high side and then for the low capacity, We'll probably let this run maybe all night. I may do this tonight and let this sit all night, but subscribe, um, hit the bell icon for notifications so you know whenever I post these videos, and then you'll be able to, you'll be the first to get to watch them. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.